Hey guys, how's it going? Gaza9919 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to improve the performance slightly of your computer and like make it work just that little bit better. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to remove all the dust. I mean, I know looking at this now, it doesn't look too dusty, um, but as you can see on the front, it is so dusty because I've got I've got like filters on my fans and that, and. Inside, I don't know if you can really see any, but we got a bit of dust in the uh, processor fan there, and yeah, just ideally, I haven't done it for a month or two, and I, I think it's probably best if I just, I just get it done, you know. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that today, and if you're wondering how this can improve the performance of your system, basically, when you're in a game or something like that, then your your computer needs cooling down and with all this dust it's blocking the airway and it's making it work twice as hard to try and cool it down which thus affects performance so yeah ideally what we're going to use to do the job is one of these now if you're wondering what this is uh, I'll leave a link in the description to it you know it's fairly inexpensive and this is basically an air compressor and it basically just blows very powerful air into the system which doesn't damage it at all uh, it's, it's basically the opposite to a vacuum but anyway without uh, further ado let's get on with this so guys the first thing you want to do is you want to shut your system down and unplug all the cables so before you dedust it what you want to do is first of all you want to give the surface that your computer was on or wiped down otherwise all that dust is going to come back inside um, and just another thing to remember that when you are de-dusting your computer you want to do it outside don't do it in the house because it's not really good for you especially if you breathe in any of that dust and plus it's pointless kind of doing it within the area that you use your computer because that dust is going to go into the air it's going to clear out your computer but it's just going to come straight back into your computer again and you're going to find yourself doing the same thing again but a lot sooner than what you would if you did on the outside so guys depending on what computer you have it depends what sort of way you're going to clean this personally I like to start off with this bottom plate here this little uh, mesh and as you can see this sink is covered I don't want to ideally just want to waft it outside like that and you'll see all the dust come up. And that's a little cleaner. I usually just give it a wipe down and that's good to go back on. But I think I'll just leave that off for the fan cleaning. Um, and as you can probably tell, it's it's been ra raining outside, so I'm, I'm just doing it here near the door. So because obviously you don't want to get your computer wet now, do you? And there you have it guys, that is uh, now dust free, and yeah, you probably might see a few bits of dust on the bottom there that the dust 
just a one quite removed but th this is just a quick clean you could go more in depth about it you could um, you could get a cloth in there like a microfiber cloth and just get onto the main spaces you know you don't want to quite wipe down the motherboard with a microfiber cloth because you could damage it um, j just ideally the case um, and stuff like that but you should notice now that you've done this that when gaming and things like that it will perform a lot better and it will keep itself cool better and it will just all in all seem like a better computer um, ideally you want to do this process at least once every two months so uh, maybe even a month uh, so yeah that's about it guys you know if you uh, want to check out any other of my videos I have plenty go ahead do that let me know what you think to this video and remember to like and subscribe.